Have you ever wanted to learn rigging, but it seemed intimidating? Or maybe you tried learning it, but gave up in frustration? Keep watching, in this video I might have exactly what you're looking for. My name is Todor from CG Dive. I've been teaching rigging for the past five years, mainly focusing on automatic rigging like Rigify, but I noticed that what people seem to be missing are rigging fundamentals. And I keep hearing about the same basic issues over and over. That is why I decided to create a new free manual rigging course that covers all of these fundamentals. The course can take you from zero to a confident intermediate rigger in record time. That's a big claim, I know, so let me give you some details. If rigging seems intimidating, I get it, I've been there myself, I've cried tears of frustration trying to rig something. The thing is, when you try to learn something as complex as rigging, at first you find yourself in what I call the valley of the suck. This is the part of the learning process where things just don't make sense. You don't know where to start, you don't know where to click, things get messed up and you don't even know why. Thanks to years of feedback from the awesome CG Dive community, I have identified the key fundamentals that you need to learn to get from here all the way to here as quickly as possible. So I designed the course around these fundamentals. Weight painting, drivers, constraints, shape keys, it's all there. Like all of my other courses, this course will also be easy to follow. And I explain every step in detail. And if you ever get stuck, just leave a comment and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Now, whenever I try to teach rigging fundamentals, I inevitably start getting questions about advanced stuff. Like, how do I rig my character with clothing and tentacles and adjustable shoes and high heels. Valid questions, but that is not the immediate goal of this course. This course aims to teach the fundamentals that you need if you ever hope to rig your advanced characters. In the future, I'm planning to cover some of these advanced topics based on your feedback. But first, I want us to stand on solid ground. And that is what Rigging Isn't Scary is all about. So the course is free, it's easy to follow, and I'm here to support you. If it sounds good, let's see what's in the course. Rigging Isn't Scary consists of three levels for a total of 20 hours of lessons. But the cool thing is, you don't have to commit to the entire thing. If you only want to learn a little bit of rigging, then just do level one. In about an hour, you will learn the basics of Blender armatures, the most important rigging mechanism, a solid weight painting workflow, the basics of animation, and we'll finish the section with a challenge. Level one will be easy and hopefully you will feel motivated to jump straight into level two. Level two offers a smooth transition between beginners techniques and advanced ones. And that's something I believe many tutorials and courses miss. We'll go deeper into the fundamentals of Blender armatures. We'll create more advanced mechanisms while keeping the complexity as low as possible. We'll learn even more about weight painting and creating user-friendly rigs. We'll even create a simple yet surprisingly effective face rig. In level 3, thanks to all of the fundamentals that we covered, things can get serious. There are about 20 lessons or so and you're going to build a professional rig. If you've ever used Rigify, you're going to build something that is similar to the Rigify human rig with advanced twisting, IKFK switching, limb isolation, and even if you don't know what some of these terms mean now, by the end of the course you Will. We'll also cover mechanical rigging and weight painting. We'll also learn about drivers, shape keys, and so much more. While this course is suitable for rigging beginners, you will need to know some Blender basics. If you know how to navigate in the viewport, move, rotate, and scale objects, create new objects, and you're familiar with the interface of the 3D viewport, the outliner, and the properties editor, then you're in a good shape. Also, ideally, you should understand basic parenting. So if I select the cube and shift select the sphere and press Ctrl P and parent the objects, the sphere is now the parent of the cube. Rigging is all about creating relationships between bones and other objects in your scene, and parenting is the most basic relationship in 3D. So ideally, you should understand this. If you're ready to add rigging to your 3D toolset, you probably want to know when the course will be released. This intro video will come out on March 27th, 2025, and the first tutorial video will appear a day later. Then I'll be releasing new videos daily.
To discover the course, you can go to cgdive.com slash rigging for detailed information about the whole series. Or just go to cgdive.com slash ris and that will take you to the YouTube playlist for the course. And you'll be able to see all currently released videos. I'll see you in the course. Let's make rigging fun.